Hello, my fellow starseeds and lightworkers, and welcome to our energy message for the month of May 2021. Now, if you don't know me already, my name is Lynn and I communicate mainly with my guides and tap into our cosmic energy through the dream state. And then over the few weeks and months, I put those patterns together and I will create these videos for you guys because I know that as starseeds and lightworkers, we tend to tap into the same stream of energy. So let's get right into what the energy feels like in May 2021. Starseeds and lightworkers, it's... How do I put this? It's time that we buckle up. We're going to need to put on our warrior suit and stand our ground. And standing our ground is something that I know many of us are quite familiar with. So planet Earth at the moment is experiencing a very clear split in consciousness. On one side of the split is humans who are drawn and influenced into the matrix of artificial progression on the planet. This split pretty much takes us away from connecting to our truest essence as a, a vibrational energetic being. Versus on the other side of the split, this is where humans are connecting more deeply to their soul, to their energetic presence, and really tapping into their organic nature of our existence. That is, we're just beginning to experience our expansion as an energetic being in our physical human body. Now, this split is going to continue to heighten because expansion is inevitable. It's part of the universe. That means we're going to feel the continued enhancement of this split, but it's a matter of which direction is this expansion heading towards. Now, I'm gonna be extremely careful and intentional with the words that I use in this video because we know that the YouTube AI um, it's very smart. It, it knows what it's doing. It has words that it doesn't want to be spoken and doesn't want people to be exposed to. So, and they will ban that. So as I speak, if you know, you know, if you don't know, you, you don't know. But if you're a star seed, a light worker, I have no doubt that you are, um, aligned with the stream of consciousness that I will be um, reflecting. So this energy and pattern that's been coming through in the dream world for me is there is this squeeze that is currently happening on the planet. The This squeeze is about funneling people into the direction of artificial progression. When I'm using the word artificial, by the way, I'm not referring to like iRobot or that sort of thing, because I think that's the, the general connotation we have. Um, but when I'm talking about artificial, it's just anything that really takes us away from our organic, natural essence of us as a human being and essentially takes us away from realizing our, our true nature. So this squeeze that is happening, it's done using extreme fear tactics and manipulation and coercion. Now, if you are moving towards the side of the split where you are more drawn to the organic, natural expansion of human beings, this squeeze is very evident to you. It's, it's, you can see the squeeze happening for what it is. Now, what this squeeze would look like is them trying to squeeze us into the matrix of service to self. But the thing with squeezes is that star states and light workers, we don't tend to respond very well to these tactics. What do you think will happen if star states and light workers are squeezed towards doing something that they don't want to do or squeezed into being something that they don't want to be? we tend to push back even harder. We seem to have incarnated with us this innate energy of stubbornness and rebelliousness. So when there is an external energy, it could be just an individual or a collective that is trying to influence us towards the direction of something that doesn't align with what feels like our soul or our high purpose or, or ourself, we seem to experience a bigger expansion. That is, we seem to somehow in those moments tap into our truest essence even more. And the thing is, this is probably not your first time standing your ground and pushing back against any forceful influences. And the thing is, as star seeds and light workers, this is not your first rodeo in standing your ground. We've been doing this since a very young age, whether that's you standing your ground in not agreeing or understanding with the traditional schooling system or traditional health system or traditional marriages, whatever it is, this is not your first time, so you know exactly what this feeling of being squeezed into a matrix that does not align with your soul. Whatever it is, you guys know that we're here to break the existing mold and create a new path towards the new earth. 
And this is what I mean earlier by we're going to need to stand our ground and put up our metaphorical warrior suits. The groups on this planet that is pushing towards the direction of artificial progression, they're going to continue to squeeze. But if they're unable to squeeze the various groups of consciousness that is pushing back, what that means is they're going to outcast them. This could look like in the physical world being labeled as anti this, anti that, anything anti, you could be anti anything. Um, as long as if you are not following the narrative that they are wanting to project forward. And this outcast, it would also manifest in our our day-to-day -day reality, whether that's showing up in your friends and your family as well. Now, I wanna make it very clear, as starseeds and light workers, we are not here to battle or argue because a war on anything we're simply going to get more of that thing that we are fighting up against. This is why the war on drugs or the war on hunger never solves the problem itself because we're just simply placing more attention onto the problem and getting more of it. What we are here to do though, if we're not here to battle and argue, is that we're here to embody our highest vibrational energetic being. That is, we're going to continue to live the life that we intended to live before coming here. It's a given, it's a part of this mission that we agreed to before coming here that we will be pushed aside and outcasted and even seen as crazy. And we will continue to be labeled as crazy or as a threat for as long as we continue to push back the main narrative that they are projecting on. But remember, we as souls, as high vibrational beings, knowingly took this path on. But also, I don't want us starseeds and light workers to take this squeeze as something that is dangerous or scary. Because if the others are kicking back and spending so much time and effort into putting us into extreme groups, it means that they see us as a threat. It means we're doing something right and completely on our path or else they would not be fearing and reacting and responding the way that they are. Their response is a direct indication of the fear that they are currently experiencing. This also means it is very clear the direction that this expansion is currently heading in. And if only our physical minds can see beyond this time space reality, I think us star seeds and light workers of our time will be very satisfied with where the human race is heading towards. So as star seeds and light workers, it is extremely important to be conscious and aware of where we are placing our attention because our attention and focus is going to be a direct influence of where this expansion is going to continue to head towards. So is your attention directed towards the fear, the hate, the divide, the manipulation? Or is your attention focused towards the love, the harmony, the peace, and the continued expansion toward this organic progression? This is one of the most important parts that we can play during Earth's ascension. Our attention is the most powerful tool we have as energetic beings. And the other group is completely aware of that. This is why they choose to place their attention onto things that will help enhance their artificial progression of the planet. So we too have access to this power. We have access to our own attention and focus. It's just about recognizing that and utilizing that power towards the mission that we came here to experience. That's it guys. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I was thinking whether I should use any specific words to, you know, go a bit further about the different topics that I'm discussing in this video, but I thought, you know, it's not it's not worth it in that sense because if you know what I'm talking about or talk because I'm talking about various different topics, um, then you just know. Then you just know. But leave in the comments if this is something and energy that you've also been witnessing and feeling for yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.